Gina, what happened? What happened at this music video shoot? You got the X. I did get the X from Director X. I know. I know. Honestly, it was a lot, and the universe speaks. And I, I had a feeling it was honestly my time to go that week. I had, I knew. Really? I knew. Mm -hmm. I knew. I was saying it before it even happened. I knew. Oh, I said it before we even shot the video. I'm shocked by that. So tell me, what was it like being on America's Next Top Model? Probably one of like the most amazing experiences that I've ever had in my life. It's something that I've I've wanted to do since I was literally 10 years old. Was this the first time that you ever auditioned or sent in tapes or pictures? No, it's not the first time I've auditioned. I auditioned for the first Guy Girl season. And so being in the competition, if someone were to get in, what would you tell them? Ooh, be selfish. Stay selfish, worry about yourself. It's a competition, 100%. It is? Yes. You are a beast. What was your initial reaction to your makeover? I was very content with the fact that it was leaving, but I had changed my diet to be vegan, to have a plant-based lifestyle, alkaline diet, to, to kind of battle my autoimmune disease and grow my hair back. So at that point, the amount of hair that I had on my head was the most hair that I've had on my head since I was probably 10. Really? So you guys taking it away was really hard for me. It, hard. Felt, it felt like I was doing all the tests and everything that I did when I was 10, when they were drawing blood, sitting in a chair, being dissected, it felt like. It felt like that again, but in a different way, but I knew that it was, I knew that it was a good thing and I had to just get through it. You know what I mean? I knew in the end that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. It wasn't a black hole like it was previously for me. Do you think it gave you an advantage or a disadvantage? I think it, it definitely made me stand out from the rest of the girls. I was the only one and it's kind of, you stand out like a sore thumb, literally. This is what I look like. And <laughs> you did not look like that. But yeah, it made me stand out. All you see is, is face after that. There's yeah. no hair, there's nothing to be distracted from the image that you have. So. It's quite a canvas. It sure is. It was an emotional <laughs> moment, I have to say. Yeah. And there were tears. Mm -hmm. A lot of tears. Tell us what happened with the tent at the shoot in the desert with the parachutes. Unexpectedly, there's this windstorm. The tent decided to fly up and there was four pillars that were connected at one point. It was all the four corners from the um, tents and they flew up and were swinging around and I, I got whacked in the back of the head. I was trying to dodge because there was sand coming to my face and I'm trying to dodge sand and I was in the corner of the makeup, like makeup section. So there really wasn't anywhere to go. And then the thing comes flying at me, sand's in my eyes. So I'm like trying to find my way around and last thing. I got smacked. I think that some of the girls didn't believe that it hit me. I, I, I know that, that some of them think that it didn't hit me. I remember sitting there with the medic after and them saying, like seeing the girls stand next to the table and like mocking me as far as like what happened. Nobody knew what happened. Nobody was looking at me. No one could even see what was going on at that moment. So for anybody to discredit that that's what happened, when there's a medic checking out my head and I'm dizzy and I can't see and I have an eye wash, like I'm not the girl that makes excuses for the same reasons you had no idea I got hit in the head when I got on set. You know, I'm not the girl that makes excuses and I don't like for people to know that something's wrong, you know? <clears throat> so I just wasn't, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I love you're not an excuse maker, but we always hear the reason as to why. Never, not until now. <laughs> you never heard it in panel. Lies, Never lies, heard it in panel. Lies, <laughs> anyway. Do you feel that you and Rio were at odds with the rest of the house? Yeah, I do. I do in a sense. I don't think that we personally were thinking about it like that at all. We just had a friendship, we vibed with each other, and we worked well together, and she was a girl in the house that I could tolerate, and vice versa. But I think that the competition looks at that as they're kind of a separate unit. And it wasn't at all like that. But it's competition, it's girls, it's females, and that's what we do. <laughs> Did you kind of see her as someone that you could latch on to to move you forward in this competition? You could be fierce together? Not necessarily be fierce together. I knew that I came into the competition by myself and that I didn't know any of these girls before I got there. So it wasn't a, a buddy system kind of thing. You gotta make do with what situation you're in and it, it worked for both of us. We got along and it wasn't catty drama between us. And for some reason we were able to look past that and gain a friendship within it. And I think that we both have what the other one doesn't. There's things that like we both see in each other that we wish we had for ourselves. And I think it just works in a cohesive you know, opposites attract kind of a thing. So, yeah. What do you think that they they said in the house without you there? Oh, you know there was drama. You know they talked <laughs> about I wanna me. hear about it. You know I those didn't, bitches didn't want me there. Really to the those house. bitches did not want me there. As much as they were friendly, and even Rio, you know, it was competition. Because they thought you were a complainer or because they thought that you were a, comp a competitor? I don't think they thought I was a complainer. 
at all. I think that they thought that my hair situation and it being a very obvious thing when you look at me was an advantage and kind of an unfair advantage in terms of them, but I don't think that that's true. I do think that they truly think that I was competition and being the shortest, being the underdog, I think that it, it hurts a little bit to see that person progressing and fighting and know that that fight is there and they're not stopping. Some of the girls accused you of jumping in on that music video. So tell us what happened. I was standing there and I was observing Christiana and Shanice doing their little thing and I was standing there just observing and Director X wasn't even paying attention to them. He was staring at me. The way I look at it is that he felt like he was missing something. He looked at me and he told me go. He didn't even say what to do. So I just jumped in. And it was mass chaos. There's feathers, there's so many things going on so I can see me being the boom and the shock factor there. It was shocking. It was definitely shocking, but I was definitely told to do it. <laughs> okay. What was it like being up against your best friend at panel? Rio's a great person, and it's hard to stand neck and neck with somebody like that and want what you want and know that they want it just as bad too. So it was heartbreaking. It, it felt, it just felt very real. Like for the first time in the competition, things felt extremely real. Just very Real intense, deal. yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you quick questions. Yes. And you have to answer them. I know, oh my like, gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my okay, God. ready? Okay, yes. Who's the messiest? Liz. Who is the horniest? Christiana. Who's the funniest? Christiana. Who is the craziest? Kyla. What was it like standing in front of Tyra? Intense, oh my God. She's, she does not look real. Like you think what you see on TV is beautiful, she's 20 billion times more beautiful in person. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sure there is a bright, bright future. It's not the last of you, that you'll see of me, don't worry. I know. Don't All right. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, bye. Are you ready for more fabulous face-offs? Well, only the next level fear survives, so make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on the competition for the crowning of America's next top model.